We start the show in The Hague, the third largest city in the Netherlands. We've come to meet up with arguably the best cricketer that Bangladesh has ever produced, Shakib Al Hassan. We were there a few months ago during Bangladesh's tour of the Netherlands, and with Shakib's busy schedule, a visit to the miniature park of Madura Dam seemed as good a way as any to get a taste of the whole country in one day. Shakib may only be 25, but has already shown signs of his immense talent. The young man is equally comfortable with bat and ball, and as a left-handed batsman, he has a wide range of strokes in his arsenal. As a left-arm spin bowler, his accuracy and consistent line and length put even the best batsman on the back foot. He's already won a string of accolades that would make many other players envious. He was named Wisdom's World Test Player of the Year in 2009, and he is currently the number one all-rounder in both tests and ODIs. But cricket lovers may not even have had the pleasure of watching Shakib's performances had he pursued another sport that he was crazy about, football. I used to play uh, football, I mean soccer uh, more than cricket uh, uh, there at Ma Magura, but uh, there was a talent hunt camp going uh, all, uh, a whole Bangladesh, uh, which I participated and I got my chance. Then I uh, got myself admitted in BKSP. So I think that, that's how I started my cricket. And in BKSP, they, they have proper coach, training facilities. BKSP, a sports institute in Bangladesh, was where Shakib honed his cricketing skills for six years. And all the training paid off. Between 2005 and 2006, he played 18 youth ODIs, taking 22 wickets at an average of over 20, and scoring 563 runs at an average of 35. His performances impressed the selectors, and he was included in the senior ODI squad against Zimbabwe at the age of 19. Shakib finished with bowling figures of 1 for 39, not too shabby at all for a one-day international debut. I was very, very nervous. Uh, that the, uh, I can still remember my first game when I scored my first run. So it, it was a very nervous moment for me. Uh, I still can feel that nervousness in my heart. So, uh, yeah, but it went went well. But I got 30 uh, and I was not out. Uh, we won that game against Zimbabwe. I got one wicket. So, yeah, it was a, uh, overall it was a good game for me, good debut. Seven months later, Shakib got his first taste of international tournament cricket when he travelled with the team to the West Indies for the ICC Cricket World Cup 2007. Bangladesh went into the tournament as the lowest ranked test playing nation. They made it to the Super 8s but failed to qualify for the semi-finals. They did manage, however, to cause a huge upset when they beat cricket powerhouse India by five wickets in the group stage. The shock result knocked the men in blue out of the tournament. The best time I had. I have had with the Bangladesh team was in uh, 2007 World Cup in West Indies and it was so exciting playing with all these all those great players because I, I used to watch them in TVs and suddenly I'm playing with them. There was no time to get starstruck as this young man was on the fast track. Shakib made his test debut against India only a month after the ICC Cricket World Cup 2007 ended. And as his CV burgeoned to include more test matches, so did his confidence. His ability to remain unflustered on the big occasions was evident when he had to lead the team midway through a series in the West Indies in 2009. With the temporary appointment, Shakib, who was then 22 years and 115 days old, rewrote the record books to become the youngest ever Bangladeshi captain and the fifth youngest captain in test history. And he did not disappoint. His superb performance and influence on the team led to their first ever overseas test series victory. It was a memorable moment for me uh, because uh, I, I was the vice captain, not, not the captain, but uh, I became the captain after Mashafi got injured uh, on the first test. So from the second day, I had to do the captaincy. So yeah, it, it was the experience for me because that's the first time I was the captain for Bangladesh. And yeah, we, we did very well as a team, uh, as an individual. Yes, I, I would say I did, I did really, really well. And uh, I can remember that uh, all my life. Shakib's most memorable moment as Bangladesh's captain, though, came in October 2010. Under his leadership, the team won the ODI series against New Zealand 4-0, their first series victory against a strong ICC full member nation. I would say this was uh, one of the historic moments uh, uh, about my captaincy because uh, we won 4-0. We never expected before the series that we will, uh, will win the series even. Uh, forget about 4-0. 
बट वी डिड दैट एंड इट वॉज एमेजिंग अमेजिंग फीलिंग्स और प्राइम मिनिस्टर कॉल टू इज पार्लियामेंट हाउस एंड ही सेलिब्रेटेड विद आस Unfortunately, Shakib's reign as captain was short-lived. A string of unsatisfactory results from the team in 2011 led to a public outcry. Bangladesh lost to the West Indies at home in the ICC Cricket World Cup by 58 runs, a record low for a full member in the tournament. And that was followed by a disappointing tour of Zimbabwe, where the team lost in both the ODI and Test series. Both Shakib and his vice captain were sacked in the aftermath. Shakib insists however that he has no regrets about his time as captain as it helped shape him into the player that he has become. It was a great experience uh, for two two and a half years I was captain for Bangladesh. Yeah there were some challenging moments if you say in 2011 World Cup there was so much pressure on because it was held in uh, subcontinent we were the one uh, co-host of the of the World Cup. After the uh, captaincy lost I, I never uh, look back and i i look forward that uh, what i can do for my team and i was uh, performing consistently so uh, yes yeah some people might say that uh, there was a burden that uh, goes from your shoulder and you are performing better now relieved of the captain c shakib has flourished as a player his strong performances in this year's asia cup saw him named player of the tournament as he snatched the number 1 odi all rounder ranking from shane watson He also recently reclaimed top spot in the all-rounder test rankings from Jacques Callis. Shakib's achievements provide inspiration for younger Bangladeshis to have self-belief in their potential. With more players like Shakib emerging in Bangladesh, the country should have high hopes of shedding their tag as perennial minnows. We want you to share your cricketing views via Twitter. This week, we want to know who do you think is currently the best all-rounder in test cricket. If you think it's Shakib Al Hasan then it's hashtag #Shakib360. If you think it's Jacques Callis then it's hashtag #Callis360. Log on to @cricketicc during the week and it will keep you up to date on the results of this poll.